good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're watching this, know that I appreciate you. Welcome to another day in the daily life of Jay. And it's probably the same day as the video that I've, that I recorded this morning, or maybe I'll add the two together. I don't know. Um, but whatever the case, I recorded a video this morning and then I thought about something getting in the car this evening that I did not share with you all. Um, so remember last week when I said that I had done something really, really stupid and uh, my ADP debit card slid into the space between the soft and the hard part of my console. Remember when I said that? That I didn't know what I was going to do, although I knew what a solution would could be, what one of the solutions could be, but I really didn't want to do it. Um, I had to do it. So I could not, of course, tear the console apart to get it out. So I thought that maybe I could transfer the funds from the ADP card to my bank account. Um, but you can't do that without the ADP card because it requires some information off of the ADP card. Well, if you don't have it, you can't put that information in. So I called ADP and I said, look, this is what happened. Um, and I have money on that card because today is payday. But, um, and I need to know what my options are. Um, and the unfortunate thing is that the only option that I had was to have them cancel the card and send me a new one. And I said, okay, fine, but what about the funds? And I know the lighting is crazy because of the way the sun is shining, but I ain't mad at it because the sun is shining. Um, but I did ask what my options were for getting the funds off of the card until the new card arrived. So they transferred me to a different department that um, gave me a solution which was to take one of the checks that they initially sent, that they originally sent with the card when I first obtained the card. And they would tell me what to do, what to write on the card in order to deposit it into my bank account. Well, the unfortunate thing about that is I don't write checks. I haven't written a check in years. And I just did a major clean out of a huge consumption of paper and when I say just did I mean in the last year I have cleaned out a lot of paper and I do believe that some of the paper that I cleaned out were those checks because I don't write checks I I mean I still have checks for I have some and as my, I just came across those again uh, looking for the checks for ADP just in case I still had them and I did not I do not have those checks um, at least I haven't come across them yet um, but I did come across my bank account checks uh, so I still have those which I'm surprised by and I probably only kept them because it is an active bank account um, just in case something happens but I, I don't believe that I kept the ADP checks because I never thought I would need them. And I don't write checks. Um, as my, my bank account checks are still in the little booklet that they send them in. I have not ever written one of those checks. Not ever written one of those checks. So why am I going this way? I can return this. Jesus, thank you for clarity. Um, I don't have to go to this one to return this. I can take it to the one by the house. 
the wallpaper that I put on my um, the back of my bookcases, the inside back of my bookcases, I did not need both rows. I bought two just in case, and I, it turns out I did not need both. So I'm taking, I'm returning the one I didn't use. Um, and I was gonna take it back to the Walmart that I bought it from, but I don't need to. I can just take it to the Walmart by the house. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but anyway, so the solution to getting the funds off of the card before the new card arrives is to have one of those checks written out so that I can deposit the money into my bank account. Well, because I don't have those checks, I have to wait for them to send me some new checks. So it could take up to 10 business days to get the replacement card. It could take up to five business days to get the checks. Yeah. And that wouldn't be an issue if that weren't the only money that I have. As I said in the previous video, I pay the larger bills for the household out of my bank account. And I typically only put, um, I typically only have the funds that I use for buying my lunches and things like that on my ADP card. And maybe a few dollars extra um, for incidentals. Well, it just so happened that I had a few dollars extra and I was going to pay our life insurance policies with that few dollars extra. And I had the money for the car note in my bank account, but I did something that I knew I should not have done and um, bought, we had to go to the store to get some stuff for dinner um, or to go get dinner actually. And because the only funds that I had were the funds that were in my bank account that were earmarked for the car note. I couldn't do anything but use those funds to get dinner. So now I have to win, uh, pray that um, the card note does not come out of my account before I get to transfer the money. Yeah, so that's what happened. That's what happened. I did all of this Friday. The card slipped into the slot, into the console on Friday after I had gone to get my nails taken care of. Um, it just slid right into the little slot. Um, but that's that. So whichever comes first, either the temporary checks or the new card, um, it's going to take five to 10 business days. So what I've done as far as my next paycheck is concerned is I have transferred or made the change to have all of my paycheck or 95% of my paycheck um, go to my main bank account until I get the new ADP card. And I'm gonna give it a hi to you all because I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, all of my funds are going to go into my main bank account until I get the new card and then I can split it up again. So I have three accounts that I have money going to. I have my savings account, I have my main bank account, and then I have my ADP card. And I split it up that way because if I don't, I'll end up not having funds for certain things. In particular, I'll end up not saving money. Now, mind you, from time to time, I still have to go into the savings to do some things like um, when I had the copay for my eye exam that I just had a couple of weeks ago, I had to go see the ophthalmologist 
and that copay was $70. Well, I didn't have that $70 extra in my main bank account, nor did I have it on my ADP card, but I did have it set aside in my savings account because I knew that um, my copay was going to be $70. So in order to, to, to keep me from spending it on something else, I had it put into the savings account and it just sat there until the actual day. That's what I use my savings account for. Um, and then of course I have my retirement account um, that I am working to build because my plan is not to have to do this working for someone else for too much longer um, but yeah so that is what happened with that that's the update on that and the second thing is there were two things I want to talk about the second thing is is the husband is having and I think I mentioned this in a previous video the husband is having a procedure done tomorrow on his back uh, it's a four step procedure um, but it's not all at one time. It's four different uh, days that he has to have this done. And each um, procedure, the following procedures, each following procedure depends on the one before it. So what this is, is to help or attempt to relieve the pain that he's having in his back minimize the pain he's having in his back um, because he is in constant pain um, and i know what constant i know what back pain feels like um, i have uh, sciatica so from time to time my back something will happen and that nerve will get pinched and my back could hurt for days it's usually when i have put too much weight on that that happens um, or I've done too much heavy lifting and the nerve has shifted somehow and that it gets pinched um, So I know what the back pain feels like so to have that that kind of back pain Chronically is not pleasant so they're going to And it's not a cortisone shot. It's I don't know what the meds are called, but they're going to inject something into his spinal area in the hopes of relieving the pain um, and if it is alleviated even if it's not completely relieved or, or eliminated if it's at least alleviated minimized then they will proceed to the second injection and if the second injection brings about even more relief, then he will get the third and fourth. So he has to get past one and two satisfactorily before they do three and four. Um, so his first one is tomorrow. They finally called with the time. So at 9 a.m., I would ask that you pray for him tomorrow, tomorrow the 21st of 2020, uh, tomorrow January 21st of 2020. And by the time you see this, the procedure will have already happened. But I would still ask for your prayers because even after after the procedure, he has a recovery time, um, and the recovery time in the facility is like three hours. But I would suspect that his recovery time at home would at least be a day or two. Um, so I would ask that you lift him up in prayer that this injection does work, um, that it does, if not totally eliminate, eradicate, get rid of the pain, that it at least minimizes it to a point where he is able to move about freely without even the use of his cane because that is one of the things um, it his his pain gets so bad that he has to use the cane he doesn't always use it um, as he should but uh, the hope is that he won't have to 
once they go through this process. So, um, it is my intent to now get three videos edited and up <laughs> uh, tonight. Tonight. Um, I did, I mentioned in the first video that I had something that I had to send to my oldest and I had forgotten to do it. So, um, oh, there's a third thing, baby. This, okay. So, I had to come back home because my husband's home uh, care person was supposed to start today. He was finally approved for um, a home care person and a home care aide. And she was supposed to start today and she did not show up. I left work to come meet her and talk to her about what it is that he needs and what he does not need and how she would be a benefit to us, how she could be a benefit to us. And I get there at, she was supposed to be there at 11.30. I got there back home at 11.25. Um, and she had not shown up by 11.35. So I said, I'll give it a few more minutes and then I'll call the agency to see what's going on and I call the agency and they say I think about a quarter to two at that point I call the agency because I, I had to get back to work because I had to let the other person go to lunch the other admin go to lunch so I called the agency excuse me to find out what happened and they were like wow she's not there nope not at all um, so they said well maybe because of the holiday it's King's holiday maybe she thought that she didn't have to work because it's a holiday. And I said, okay, fine. So they said that they would give her a call and find out what's going on and to let her know. So I sat there for another three minutes and still didn't get a call back. So I called them back after talking to my husband and I said, you know what? Just tell her to wait until Wednesday. She can start Wednesday. Um, and if she doesn't start Wednesday, if she's not here Wednesday, then we need for you all to find him another person. And the woman says to me, well, we've called her and she did not answer and she has not yet called us back. So if she doesn't call us back, we're going to send you a new person Wednesday, period. Thank God. Um, because Wednesday will be the day that he will still need help um, because of the procedure. Um, because again, I'm guessing that it's going to take at least a day or two for him to recover completely from this procedure. Um, I've never had this kind of um, thing done to my back for my back pain. They sent me to physical therapy, told me I needed to lose weight, and told me how to, you know, watch what I do when I discovered, when they found out that it was actually sciatica. My doctor actually sent me to a specialist and the specialist told me it was sciatica and that I needed physical therapy and the physical therapist helped me get to a point where I could function again. Well, the husband has had um, procedures like this before and it's quite painful. And for him, in this current state, it will probably be even more painful because he um, doesn't have any weight on him. He doesn't have any weight on him. That person almost ran back right into me because they were not paying attention. And it's kind of hard to see out of super dark tinted windows. And then this one is just driving and smiling because they're not paying attention as I back up. And then this one is just going to pull right on in. Okay, can I do what I need to do, please? So, see, this is why I go hands-free because I can just talk but still pay attention to what's going on around me. 
Um, but so he's had this done before. They shot him at his ankle. It's a very long needle and it's really very painful. And he had to get it done then because he woke up one morning and could not walk. And they could not find for the longest time what the issue was. And then they, after so many scans and MRIs and um, all kinds of things that they had to do, like they pulled blood, pulled out his blood cell, white blood cells and spun them around and then pulled them back in and electrified them and highlighted them and all that. And they finally figured out that he had no cartilage between his bones in one of his ankles. So his bones were rubbing together and it had gotten to a point where it would not flex the way it needs to flex. So he could not put any pressure on it. It was, there was a lot of pain. He could not walk. Um, he had to be in a boot. He had to be on crutches. And when we were going to different stores that they had carts, you know, the motorized carts, he had to use one of those. Um, so he's had this shot before and the shot, that shot was a cortisone shot. And um, it relieved all of that for him. So I am prayerful that this will be the same way. Um, I am prayerful that it will be the same way. But I am at the Walmart. I need to take this wallpaper in and then get on home. Um, so with that, I'll say peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.